Stolen and missing art. That is the subject of a new report by the Baltimore Inspector General. This wasn't an elaborate heist, but rather artwork that's apparently disappeared over time from the doorsteps of Baltimore City Schools. ABC 2's Mallory Safaste has a tally of how many pieces of art the city is now looking for. Mallory? That's right, Kelly. More than 200 pieces of art were commissioned for Baltimore City Schools starting in the 60s. Now the city is finding out that 68 of them are either missing or unaccounted for. 12 of them, primarily sculptures, cost more than $250,000. A 15 foot sculpture that just vanished. This is the guide. Mm -hmm. uh, that was valued at uh, about $23,000. And then. This is the city sphere also at City College, which was valued at about $8,000. Those two sculptures are some of the 68 pieces of art that the Baltimore Inspector General says is now missing or unaccounted for. Some we, we believe went missing and were probably stolen, possibly scrapped. Um, but uh, so it's a mixture of, of stories as to, as to what happened. All of the art was commissioned for Baltimore City Schools as part of the 1% for Public Art Ordinance, a mandate that took effect in 1964 and designated 1% of every city construction budget to artwork. They were uh, building new schools at the time. This was in the 70s and the 80s, um, before the schools were separated from, as a city agency. And, um, and so there was a lot of artwork that was produced, well over 200 pieces, um, to grace um, the schools around the city. But now a number of those publicly funded pieces are lost, and the inspector general is investigating how that could have happened. We're responsible for promoting accountability and efficiency uh, in, in the government. And uh, some of these pieces of art were valuable. What they found was a lack of asset management, something that the Baltimore Office of Promotion in the Arts and Baltimore City Schools will now collaborate on. We want to make sure that none of this happens again and that there is accountability and that there, there are folks whose eyes are on this work and, um, and they're identifying and taking care of any issues that might develop with the work. They plan to evaluate the art on a yearly basis. The, the principal will sort of be the watchdog, making sure that the, um, that the work is um, intact and, um, and is in good condition and will inform us if there's a problem with it. But more than just accounting for the art, they'll need to develop a newfound appreciation for it. This is an opportunity um, to, uh, you know, expand our work beyond um, the professionals and really influence the, um, the youngsters that see the work every day. We'll also be installing plaques on every piece of art still in existence that will tell anyone considering moving them to inform the Baltimore Office of Promotion in the Arts first. The Inspector General also consulted the Baltimore Police Department on some of the expensive pieces that went missing, but he said the trail had gone too cold for investigators to develop any leads.